electric rifle. And another pistol. Oh, these are all relics. Imprisoned enemies. Uh, obtain a block buff. Oh, this is the one we unlocked last time. Chance to nullify incoming normal attack damage. Gain a shield of absorption whenever damage is dealt to enemies under elemental status conditions. Expires after current turn. When damaging targets not yet in combat, their breakpoint will be reduced twice. Don't know about these. How much does it cost to reload? Oh wow, I can't afford you. Ball of mud. All greasy enemies will also become imprisoned. When obtaining a buff, there's a 20% chance that a second buff with the same effect will be obtained as well. Oh, that's interesting. This is for guns. For every attack that hits an enemy, your dodge will increase by 5 per attack, max 4 stacks. This buff will last until the enemy is defeated. This is interesting because we have a... Um, we have daggers, we have dodge on the daggers. I could buy you. All stackable effects will have twice the amount of max stacks. That's also really good. Right. And when skill damage is inflicted via skill, exceeds 150, regain 50 MP. Dude, we're so close. We are so close to using this properly. Hmm. But the dodge though. The dodge though, that's f that's 20% dodge. Okay, let's get this one and let's get this thing. Well, enemies have resistances as well. Enemies have resistances. Well, we, we got a really good, uh, you know, we got, we got, you know what we got, where, where, where do I see all the, what's this? We found a new enemy, Water Sprite. And Elites, we found the Primordial Water Spirit. Okay. Um, no, let's... I did another stupid thing, cause... I went to the da with the daggers to stun. Well, let's get this thing. Fine, whatever. Uh, I went to the daggers to stun. Two per hit. Max 10 stacks. That'll be 20 defense right off the bat. Ooh. You were you would have been good as well. Oh boy. Let's see how much damage we do we deal with you. I probably should have gone for the dodge. Oh damn it. Damn it. That's a long load. City of Steam. Okay, so I, I think they got randomized because, you know, first we started with the City of Steam, then we went to the uh, water, but this time we started with the water. Bunch of enemies. W what are you? Dark Butler? And Gloved Battle Unit?
are you doing? I don't like it. You teleported me. That's interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. Each stack, all damage increases. Okay, so every enemy will get plus 10 attack when I kill another enemy. That's not so bad. Generator shield lasting two turns. This is also good. Let's pick this up. Phoenix tail feather, what? Oh, I, I, that was the thing. That was the thing to use when uh, when we made the concoction. Dark butler. Likes to dress as a butler and do a butler's job. A demon, oh, you're a demon. I think that he is an am amiable demon. It would be a big mistake to think he's an amiable. His mysterious trait contains all kinds of items that will surprise the enemies. Be prepared. Okay, good thing we killed you. And a robot made by Dr. Frank, gloved battery in it. Uh, okay. Because of those exposed, it's prone to short circuit when touching water, so it can't carry liquid. Too bad for you. What was this? Oh, it was just my mouse hovering over the gold. Okay. There's the boss. There's a chest down there. Mm, that's, yeah, okay, why can't you, you know, you could just use the whole other part of the screen. Look at this. We could, you could just put the text down there and I, I could see what it does. So I don't need to go for it because I don't remember. I have a terrible memory. Maybe there's a hidden room here? No. No, there isn't. And my kingdom for a dash! Oh, how uh, I would love a dash. Another cauldron? What? I could make you with the feather. Do they carry over? Do you carry over or do you not carry over? Let's see, let's use one and see if they care and keep the other one. Immune to all other aspect of damage and the scorch status effect. What? Resurrect and use once per floor. Once per floor? 5% chance on receiving a hit to apply abnormal status effects of elemental aspect to the attacker. Okay, you seem incredibly good. Once per floor resurrect. It doesn't say with how much HP, but I guess since it doesn't say, maybe it's full HP. If it's 10 HP, it's still it's still a revive. It's still a free revive. Don't get me wrong. And we're gonna keep the other one. We're gonna keep the other feather and see if it carries over. Goblin treasure! Ooh! Wow, you're a creepy goblin. An awfully green and ugly looking creature sits within this messy room filled with trash and debris. Its beady little eyes flashing with greed as it notices your entrance. Hello there, stranger! It is so rare to see a human around here. You are human, right? I've heard that humans rather enjoy harmless games for entertainment. Would you like to join me? I have a coin in one of my hands. Guess correctly in which hand it is. The pile of treasure behind me will be yours. 
However, if you guessed wrong, half your gold will belong to me. It takes out a filthy, worn down silver coin, flips it between its palms a few times behind its back and reaches out both fists in front of you. Um... No. We don't have a lot of gold, I could actually try it. Well, you win this time. The goblin op opens both his palms unwillingly. I, we picked the left hand. I guess there's such a thing as being beginner's luck. The stuff is yours now, per our agreement. It turns around to leave without throwing you another look. You gradually receive your hard-earned reward. What's this? Soul of Vengeance? Whenever damage is received, gain a stacking buff of plus 5% to normal attack damage. Max 5 stacks, less 3 turns. Okay. Okay. I think it counts towards shields as well. You can also go here. Actually, let's go there. Now, maybe that's towards the boss. So let's see what this is. Use weapons for less than 10 times in this room. The less weapon usage, the better the reward. Okay. So, only skills. Only skills. And items. We can use items, definitely. Please be... You're resistant to electric. Awesome. Could you stop? Thank you. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Uh, shield, this effect, cannon attack. Yay! So stupid. God damn. Oh, only gold. Come on. Where's my where's my uh I thought for sure if you make it to three stars they would give you a uh, trinket, a relic, but I guess I guess I was wrong. Too bad, so sad. And this is a mini boss. What is this? This is a mini boss. Oh, I don't have enough mana for you.
Give me that key. Thank you. Oh wait, I can't equip more than one, two, three, four, five. So five items max so far. Twenty within a five stacks of poison. That's five, four, three, two, one. That's fifteen damage. Not gonna lie, that's not that good. This is actually it's a bit better than this one, isn't it? And it's two two scrolls instead of just one. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Now, is there really no secret here? No secret, huh? Okay. Well, I don't see a secret. There might be a secret, but I don't see it. So let's go to the mini boss then. Um, what were you? What was in this chest over here? Because I have a key now. Oh, we don't actually need you. I think. Windblade Overlord? What the hell? <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, okay. Okay. Did some AOE damage? Who are you? Mechanical Trapper. You're gonna... You're just gonna launch traps. You're not gonna do anything special, I think. I think. Right? No, you are gonna attack me. Screw you, then. Wow. use this first so do we do 150 we do not do 150 we do not Exactly. Windblade Overlord. Originally made by Dr. Frank to cool the labs. Awesome. Blew away everything instead. Repurposed as a combat guard. Upgraded his defense mechanisms and improved circuits. Okay. So 
so what do we do? What do you do? Creates a storm that advances on its own. It goes for one tile per turn and deals one damage. <clears throat> Redu the damage is reduced by 25 each time. Hmm. And makes you makes your next stream normal attacks trigger multi strike, which deals wind damage of 30% of the base damage of the surround to the surrounding targets. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's so anticlimactic. Skill damage double. Plus 30%, however, every time your skills deal damage, reduce HP of self by 5 and cannot be killed by this effect. I... I think it works with the shield. So we could definitely use this with our shield, right? I think. I think. Let's try it on. Let's try using it with our shield on. Too bad I don't have any... Um, I don't have any mana left, unfortunately. That's a scroll. A stat scroll. This is the boss room. Um, don't want to go there just yet. Let's go here. Only you two guys? Oh, there's another room after you, but still, only you guys over here? It's kind of weird. Is there no secret here, maybe? Maybe there's a secret, but... Hmm. Because only two enemies in a room. That's kind of weird. So, wait, wait a second. 210. Every time your skills deal damage. Oh, no. Okay, so this is gonna be extra weird now. Oh no. Wait. My skill did damage, but I didn't take damage either from health or from shield. What is this? So if I damage you with this thing... I don't want to do it though. Oh, it's gonna go for my shield. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Still kinda sucky though. Kinda sucky. Actually no, cause you don't do the damage at the start, so I can still use you pretty well. Okay, that's good to know. This is gonna be what exactly is this? Oh, another one of these statue thingies. You receive blessing. All incoming damage is reduced by half, but you also be inflicted with a random amount of status condition every time you with every hit you receive. If we had, we, I, I think there is a thing where you can, um, you can, uh, be immune to elemental status conditions. Shape-shifting origami, a piece of paper floats in the middle of the room surrounded by arcane energy. After careful examination, you re realize the markings on the paper are instructions for origami. By folding the paper following different instructions, you will be able to make different things with it. Carefully examine this piece of paper. You circle around and discover two words printed on the back of the paper. Shape-shifting origami. Fold the origami in the shape of a gold coin. Obtain gold equal to your current gold. 
Older game shape in soul shards. Obtain soul shards equal to current soul shards. Soul shards. Ha! Huh. I don't remember what I have. I don't remember what kind of money and stats I have. I can't back out. Hmm. Can I cheat a bit? Can I? Can I go? I can't back. Oh, what's it called? I can't. Damn it! I wanted to rewind the stream, but I don't know how from the from the manager. Um, let's go with soul shards. You proceed with one set of instructions very carefully, observing the blue light within the markings that guides your very step. You can feel the arcane energy before vanishing into thin air. Awesome! Awesome! The goal would have been good as well, but 300 soul shards is 300 soul shards. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. switch you around I don't want to actually you'd be doing 120 as a base and you're doing 85 as a base but I don't know how much you do as a base how much do you do as a base 85 so you do 85 and you deal 120 so I could totally spam, but you are you you are not spammable. You deal eighty five as well, so you are not you are spammable, but uh, you are not gonna push the one fifty we need for this artifact, dude. I don't know how to push this thing. I think only with ultimates, only with uh, these abilities. Actually, do we have a? Do we have a really strong ability that does a lot? I don't think we do. This is an, you know, this is 85, but 85, 85, 85, not one big hit what we need for the effect to trigger. Huh, really weird. Too bad I can't make uh, use of the thingy. I don't remember what you were. Oh, you are the cards. You are the playing cards, and you're the stat scroll and the meat. Okay. Okay. So, what kind of boss is it gonna be? Doctor Frank again? Maybe. Maybe. Doctor Frank. Okay. You're a tough fight. You're a really tough fight. I'm gonna have to kill an enemy first, and then, uh... Idol, you're idol. We're gonna have to kill you first, and then go for Dr. Frank. 